Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about password-protected pages in WordPress on your Oxygen sites. If you've used Oxygen very much, you probably know that the built-in password protection in WordPress doesn't work as you'd expect with Oxygen built pages and content. And that's mostly because the password protection only really works to protect the post content itself. So in this example, I've edited and designed this page in Oxygen, but I've also set up a password over here. But if I go to the front end, I'm not prompted for a password before actually seeing the Oxygen content. On the other hand, if you were rendering the post content out in your template, it would be password protected. So to get around this problem, we're going to set up a special condition and build out password protection support in our main template. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is go back to the WordPress admin panel and make sure we have the code snippets plugin installed. If we go to plugins, add new, and just search for code snippets, it's usually the first or second that comes up. There are a few other options as well, and you can use whichever one you prefer, but I usually just go with code snippets because it's free and quick to get set up. Now we're going to go over to our snippets, and I've already set up this condition, but I'm going to walk you through exactly what it's doing. First of all, we're just checking if our oxygen register condition function exists before we try to do anything. This avoids any critical errors on the site if oxygen isn't present. Then we're just grabbing this oxy condition operators global. Next, we have our function to register our condition. We're naming it has password. The options will be true and false. We're not going to allow custom values to compare our results to. Our operator is always going to be a double equal sign. And then we're going to use the has underscore password underscore callback function to process this logic. And the function is very similar. If we look down here, we're just making sure we have the value in the operator. And then we're comparing the value and checking if it's true, meaning you've chosen true from the value dropdown. And post underscore password underscore required is true. Then we're going to return true. That means the post is password protected and you haven't entered the password yet. Note that we're also passing in get the ID to this post password protected function as it requires the post ID to do this check. Otherwise, if we've chosen to show something, if the page is not password protected, we're just checking that the value is set to false and we're checking that post password required is also false and then we're returning true. Basically in an oxygen condition, anytime you return true, a thing is gonna be shown. So even in cases of a negative condition like post is not password protected, we still need to return true if that condition is met. Otherwise, we're just gonna return false and not show anything. So this is the basic condition you're gonna need, and I'll make sure there's a link to a gist in the video description so you can just copy and paste this straight into your code snippet plugin and activate it to use it in Oxygen. So now that that's out of the way, we can actually go on to Oxygen Templates and we're going to open up our main template. For this approach I'm showing you to work, you really need a main template that is applied across your entire site. This will ensure we can catch cases where password protection is being used and show the proper elements. So let's go ahead and edit this in Oxygen. Now we're gonna need a few little setup items here. The first is that you wanna make sure you have an inner content element in this template because that's what's gonna actually show the oxygen content. But we do want to wrap that in a div. So let's go ahead and wrap that in a div and we can go ahead and set up the condition for this div. Basically, we only wanna show this if there's no password required or if the password has been entered for this page. So we're gonna go on to set conditions add a condition, and then under the post category, we're gonna find has password. This is our new condition we just created. And we're gonna say, show this if has password equals false. Now that bit is done. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's refresh this. And you can see that nothing is shown to me because the page does require a password and I haven't entered the password yet. WordPress stores it as a cookie once you've entered the password correctly, which is why it doesn't continuously prompt you for the password when you revisit. And since that cookie's not present, it says, well, we're not gonna show this section to you. 
So that bit is working perfectly, but now we need to be able to show the password field to folks who are visiting and haven't yet entered the password. So let's go ahead and add another section, and this can go above or below, but I'm gonna put it above. And then let's add a heading element here and say protected content, and let's just center everything in this section. And just for fun, let's add a padlock icon. Let's see if we have one in our list here. Perfect, so we can put this right above our heading. And then below this, we're gonna need a code block because we need to output our password field. Luckily, WordPress has a function for that. And it's just get the password form. And you do have to echo this to make sure it's output. Now you can see our password form is being output. We can spruce this up a little bit with some CSS. So let's go ahead and save this and look on the front end. Now we can see our section with our password form. Let's inspect this and look at the structure really quickly. It's just a label inside a paragraph, inside a form. So we'll just grab this class here and see if we can just center everything in there. Since we already have a code block, we'll do it right inside the CSS tab of that code block. We're dropping in our class for our form. And let's go ahead and zoom this in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll go ahead and set flex direction column, align items center, justify, justify content center. Let's do max width 300 pixels. Maybe we'll make it a little bit wider, 350. That looks all right. Now let's add some padding. Border radius, eight pixels, background, EF, EF, EF. And then let's style that button a little bit as well. Post password form button with 100%. And in fact, this is probably an input of type button and not a button itself. Now let's try setting the width to 100%. To make sure we have the proper selector, let's do background black important. And if we don't have the proper selector, we can go up here and take a look. So we're inside this form we have this input type submit and it's type submit. Of course, that's a silly mistake. So we'll go back over here and change this type from button to submit. Now we can actually affect this. So let's see if we can add a width to it. That looks a little bit better. And let's go up here. I wanna do one other thing, post password form label, display flex, justify content center, and then margin bottom eight pixels. So it's not a masterpiece, I'll admit that, but it does look a little bit better than the default. So we can collapse this over. Now we have this little box that prompts for the password. And we can make it far more beautiful, but this isn't really a design tutorial, so I'm gonna move on to the rest of the functionality. So we've got our condition on this section below. Now we just need a condition on the section up here to make sure it's shown when the password is required. So let's go ahead into there and hit our conditions icon set conditions, add a condition, and then we're gonna choose has password equals true. So remember down here we set has password equals false on this div that wraps our inner content area. So it'll be shown if no password is required, but this up here will be shown if a password is required. So let's go ahead and take a look on the front end. And you can see here that we require a password on this page. Let's just test this really quickly and make sure it works when the page is not password protected. So I set it to public, we'll refresh, and you can see here that our content is shown. Now let's go back into our final test, which is to protect this with a password, and we'll set the password to oxygen rocks and update that. We'll go up here, see that it's now password protected, and we can put in our password, oxygen rocks. Hit enter. And now the page is loaded with no password prompt and we're seeing the content. Note that this also works if you have a header and footer, which I don't right now, but I'm gonna add one so that you can see how this would look on a live site. So we'll go to design sets, atomic, sections and elements. Let's add a header up here, move it to the top and add a footer. We'll just do this one here, move it down to the bottom. And now this looks like a real site, so we can see what it looks like up here. We've got our header, content, footer, but if we visit without a password, we can simulate that by just going to our dev tools, application, 
cookies, this site's URL, and then we're gonna look for the one that says post pass and just delete that. And now if we refresh, simulating a visitor visiting this for the first time, we will see our header, footer, and our protected content notice with the opportunity to enter our password. We enter it and now we can see the content again. So once this is set up on your site in your main template, it'll work for any page that's password protected and give you that native WordPress password protection functionality while using Oxygen. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to use password protected pages on your Oxygen site. Thank you very much for watching.